Got the Greta one-liner, our house is on fire, on the banner. And we still have some more front line. <laughs> Got another few hundred up on top. December 6, Portland, Oregon. We are here with the Youth Climate Action March. It's been a couple of hours of speakers. Now the plan is to march down to City Hall, give City Hall a piece of their mind. I'm going to walk over here and get a frontline picture. The speaker. Um, almost had a situation here with a driver and a bicycler. I got some footage of that. But this is a pretty good photo op right here. Anybody else? Let's just make sure. We got all these folks right here. Frontline. And you can see the Greta on house is on fire. Where my party's at? 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 Where Trying to do a group shot. You ain't gonna do a group shot with a hundred white. I should not be here. I should be in school. That's right, Greta. Pacific Climate Warriors. A lot of Reynolds High School here, representing Micronesia, all these different regions that are at the highest risk. And that's, that was the message here. Um, if 
the sea level rises, then they feel like they have a couple of years. And then the islands are underwater, so you get you get that sense of life and death, urgency, pending doom when you're on the islands. thing is we've had some stage some theater moving in and out so they've been in they've been in conflict with this from the beginning so and you had a couple of drivers that were ready to box and um, so all the youth you can see there are being being told to rally stack in fall in line um, Got all the press down here. So let's slide the ramp on the sidewalk. Now the one thing that did kind of catch me off was uh, seeing the uh, seventh generation marketing Unilever. Unilever is having the youth sign off on model releases for marketing. Unilever distributor seventh generation so they got all these youth posing for pictures signing off model release I mean if that isn't capitalism in all its glory I don't know what is so you can see here a few hundred they're just gonna try to wrap them all around my guess is, is try to avoid the catastrophe of the last march that went across the Hawthorne Bridge, bottlenecked all the kids into one lane, and then had youth darting across four lanes of the Hawthorne traffic. So we're going to avoid that. And they're just coming down four blocks. It's a different crew here, by the way. This is, um, well, I see 350. It's not the uh, global Greta, although they are using Greta's one-liner. Let the youth be heard. He doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go, Mom. He's like, uh, he's like, get me the hell out of here. So we're getting pretty, pretty uh, jazzed up here. Y'all ready for this? The house is on fire. Which I guess you know you're in, you're inhabiting islands that were built from volcanoes. That's really applicable. Our house is on fire. We're living on a volcano. Our house was built by a volcano. Crowd. I mean, oh, sorry, buddy. We're fighting. We're fighting. Yeah. We're fighting. See if I can get in. I lost them on the PGW. All right, so there it goes. We're fighting. We're starting there. I'll pop right in here and grab, grab them coming down. Just post up right here. There we go. I'll just come right on down. You can't save the world by playing by the rules. Got a radical in the crowd there. All right. This, this guy doesn't want to play by the rules. Gas mask is appropriate.
coming in a little bit. Okay. Well, this is oh, we for the places we call home, our time to rise for the water we drink, climate action now, lots of uh, make polluters pay, I can only imagine where that, who paid to have those printed, climate justice now, what do they want, when do they want it? This is more than a climate issue. So that's another mantra. They were talking about uh, racial justice, environmental justice, racial equity. So that was a pretty good theme right there. The, the, what is what does your sign say? The world is burning to the ground. How does water burn? I don't it's know. But it's burning. It's all burning. Life. Okay. It's a song? Yeah. Okay. No idea what show or movie. So the world is burning to the ground, but yet it's flooding and everything's going to be covered underwater. She said it was her favorite song. School strike for climate. it right there that's the, we're gonna follow these youth warriors we'll follow them on right on back down here uh, I'd like to get some of this data you know I saw some of the things thrown out there in the speech and there's a consensus that the oceans are rising. So that that piece, that fact that they feel like the oceans are rising is really disputable. Because lots of data shows that the ocean levels are not rising. So it's either a fear, an anxiety that it could be happening. If we don't do something now, then the ocean will rise. But I'd like to see the data clearly states that the oceans are rising right now. Now there's all kinds of problems. Don't get me wrong. The other misconception I thought was, was kind of relevant was um, weather, weather change is not climate change. So I heard one speaker say, super typhoons are attacking my home. Well, weather change is not climate change. So those two things... They, they, it, it, you need clarity if you're going to be teaching the youth you have to see weather change is not the climate change um, and then nobody was talking about geoengineering and that's just like this whole voided taboo topic geoengineering it's like well how many of these youth know what geoengineering is does anybody know that geoengineering and cloud seeding has been happening for a hundred years? Is anybody in any of the Portland public schools talking about geoengineering and what geoengineering is? Anyone? Is there a teacher in the city that understands what geoengineering is and is teaching geoengineering to the class? I'm just curious. It's an open question. out here unless I get some interviews so I could try to do that. Peace out. Portland, Oregon. We're down here with the radicals. The youth have taken over the streets. Frack off gas holes. Now that's a sign, huh? Frack off gas holes. It's a polite way of saying You got your signs out? Good. Go do your thing there. All right, Portland, Oregon, signing off so I can get an interview. Peace out. Climate March.